Uh -huh. So I guess this is where I'm going to be staying from here on out. This is a piece of shit. Hey, I guess this is home now. You got mashed potatoes and everything. Well, I might as well make myself at home. Ow! What the hell? apartment I got lonely you were just shit talking me earlier saying you were glad I was leaving and now you're suddenly following me here look it's boring at home there's like 20 people back at the house like what's the difference of me leaving there you're the guy who makes the videos but now that you're here probably gonna make the videos you guys can still make videos even if I'm not there Really? Yeah. I don't know, that sounds lame. Whatever. Just to let you know, I did invite the entire cast to just come here whenever they want. Sure, why not? Have everybody just occasionally show up in this stupidly cramped apartment. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, cool, so, uh, what do we do now? Oh fucking no, dude, you just showed up here without telling me. Like, were you seriously? Like, seriously, in that bag this whole time? Like, I've been out all day. You've been in my backpack all day without any air, any food, any water. You're- How the fuck are you still alive? You ask me, bro. You know, I came here to get away from this shit. I feel like I'm too old for this shit. Apparently I'm not. Like, at all. You can't get rid of us that easily cause you love us too much. Oh, quite the contrary, Kermit. Quite the contrary indeed. Pernicious! The fuck? Well, now that we have this whole new space to ourselves, I say we start Creating chaos and madness. I wouldn't do that if I were you, buddy. Bolshevik! Whoa, why the fuck is it so hot in here? I don't know, man. Why don't you use this fan? Fucks up with the audio. Really? Yeah, what? Well, I don't care what's hot in here. Woo! Well, Kermit, while you're laying there on the ground all passed out, I'm going to explain to the audience why the fuck I'm even here to begin with. So yeah, I moved away here into this nice little dorm room. I'm living on a college campus for some reason, don't ask. And it's gonna be fun sharing some new adventures with you guys. Seeing what type of wacky mischief we get ourselves into. And I'm not gonna stop making videos. The lovable cast of characters you all know and love will still be around. They're going to stop by every now and then. I'm going to be doing some random bullshit here and it's going to be fun. So Kermit, he's here and presumably Spongebob will be here. So will Mario and Rex and Albardo and all the other crazy characters you know and love. All your favorites, none of which include me, because whose favorite character in this show is film buff? Let me be honest with you guys. It's... It's scary. It's... Honest to God. Scary. Trying a new... Thing like this, a new... Drastic... Change. Because I'm, I have always been a man of routines. Like I am a very routine guy when it comes to my life, how I do work, how I make my videos, all that type of stuff. And 
up till now, the only really break in my routine has been vacations and battling the forces of evil alongside assholes like Kermit over here. This, I would have to say, has to be the biggest and most jarring change in my entire life, because for the longest time I've been living in that house, and you guys, that has been, that has been in almost every episode of this show since episode 6. It's gonna be tough on me. I imagine some of you guys who've been here for a while will be tough getting used to the new setting, but it'll be worth it in the end because we're still going to make a lot of fun videos here. Mm -hmm. We got some great ones coming up. Like Kermit and I, in particular, are going to be working on a fun little music video coming either by the end of the month or at the beginning of next one. And it's going to be a crazy one, going to be a fun one. You might even say it's going to be a shitty one. It'll make sense once you see the video. So, hope you enjoy this journey with me and just want to think perfectly clear, like, like think of it as no different as in season one where you would sometimes see Spongebob's house and other times you'd see Patrick's house before he eventually decided to move in with the rest of us. Like sometimes you'll see this house and other times you'll see the other guys at the house and a lot of the times they'll be coming here and hanging out. Does that make sense? I think it does. Let's do this. Here's to a new chapter. So uh, Kermit told me that I shouldn't be wearing my regular f outfit today because apparently when you go to a new location, it's good to not be yourself for uh, the first few days. So thanks buddy. Real good friendship there. Um, so, it's totally not because I left my apartment and I just forgot to put on my outfit. It's definitely not that. I love this one. Oh, uh, it's such a lovely day. There's a bunch of fucking idiots over there in tents. The urge to just throw myself off of here and just die, like, oh, so high. I probably wouldn't die, but I'd at least break something. Food truck, oh my God, that's a food truck. I don't And they look so good. Actually, the chocolate one looks like shit, but the other ones look so good. This has been a fun little social event. Eat some food, got some neat little drinks. Mm, very tasty. Uh, I gotta say, college people are weird. They're very odd. There's too many children on this college campus. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how exactly would I rate my new living situations? Um, I'd say it's a good 7. Had a decent couple of days. Everything's been all right. The people are pretty chill, except for you, Doug. And you know what you did, Doug. You and your dog. But yeah, I'm having a good time. I like the people. Uh, nice that I have a bunch of friends from home here. And I can go home anytime I want. So, yeah, that's that. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.